Hello, welcome to LMC and Knowledge. Lyrics music channel, spiritual insight and wisdom that I will share to you so you can take along your spiritual journey. I hope you're having a good day, good night, wherever you're at. And whenever you see this, make sure that you're prayed up and in the light of Jesus. Because that's where we belong every day, period. So, today, the card we have is fire, spontaneity, okay? So, I'm feeling like you could be a fire sign. You don't have to be a fire sign, but um, you could... I'm, I don't know why my attention was drawn to the brick behind the fire. So, you may be around bricks or something like that, but I know red bricks... Uh help banish like hexes and curses and spells and all that type of stuff but i'm not getting um this being like somebody doing witchcraft or anything on you but i'm just noticing the brick but um you are very with the bricks though it's a strong foundation something that can't be knocked so it's like your belief system can't be knocked or shifted and you're you're really standing your ground in this situation or you need to stand your ground in this situation because you are very strong like you could be physically strong working out or you could just like you know mothers just have that strength or people who like mentor people or guide people they just have that inner strength that just can't be can't be rocked like you can't weaken you can't uh shift this person's perspective you can't make them weak like you're very strong-minded is what i'm hearing um right now i'm hearing that song uh by the black eyed peas i think it is but they be like, I want to scream and shout and let it all out and scream and shout and let it out. So God's telling you to speak boldly in a situation. Stand on what you believe in. Speak up. You know, speak with your chest is what I'm hearing. God's telling you to do that because you got that confidence. You got that fiery energy, um, that passion. You have this certain passion and drive for life or for whatever you're going towards right now. And it's like, don't let nothing stop you, okay? Or they're going to get burned. You feel me? Like, come close, you're going to get burned is what I'm hearing. Like, try to try to stop me from going. You're going to get knocked down. You're going to get flatlined. Like, that's what I'm hearing. But, um, yes, yeah, so... God's telling you don't hold back in this situation you're dealing with or what you're about to deal with. Uh, this fire, like what I was saying, is telling you to scream and shout and like literally just let it all out. This is not the time or the situation to hide what you feel. Say it as it is. We we ain't beating around the bush, okay? It's it's no more beating around the bush. We telling it straight. We not adding sugar to it, okay? We adding salt, okay? Because they need to taste it. They need to know how you feel in a certain situation um stand up and be counted far too long now you have rolled over and kept quiet so maybe you're a type of person who didn't speak up and you kind of just let things go let things flow you know okay i didn't like the way this ended or this happened or even if like you know when you get the or wrong order on your foods i'm here like somebody like actually speaking up this time and saying hey my food was wrong not in like a yelling way but just like you know actually speaking up for yourself uh, defending yourself defend your name defend what you stand for is what I'm hearing um so you may have think you may have thought like you know keeping quiet was like the proper way to behave you know you didn't want to be there. like I'm hearing like you're not as confrontational like you're not a person who just like like start arguments you're just not a confrontational person but God's telling you right now you just you need to to be that lion you need to roar right now okay um because that that holding it in has um left your feelings being unheard it left your voice being unheard guys like i gave you a voice for a reason i gave you a throw i gave you vocals for a reason maybe you're a singer you like to sing or you like to rap or um uh your your voice has authority to it like is what i'm hearing people listen when you speak um especially when it's like you know now i'm seeing like this even though this is not really a about it but that's that movie when i think it was in hathaway or athaway whatever her name is and she didn't know she was a princess like she didn't know she was from royalty so it's like i'm hearing like your bloodline is royal you are from royalty or you were very respected in your past life you were very looked up on to you were like a a leader um what is that word called oh, i can't find that word right now but 
you were literally somebody that people truly admired and looked up to in your past life so this is energy from your past life i'm hearing that's coming into this life that fuel um to fuel you up to keep you going so that holding it in type of thing and not speaking out uh because you did you felt like it was gonna ruffle some feathers god said destroy them feathers blow them feathers away okay because we don't got time for that for you being unheard um so certain things in your life you may miss opportunities um or in the past you may have missed certain opportunities that will always come back to you if, especially if it's meant for you um god needed like your authority in a certain situation and when you didn't show that authority he kind of gave somebody else the opportunity to do something that you wanted to do and this may not even be somebody you know that got the opportunity but just somebody is doing something that you want to do and god was saying he needed you to embody that fiery passion authoritative figure energy you know and now you got it i'm here like now i got it like ain't nothing holding me back um yeah it's time to release that inner fire and abandon inhibitions that have prevented you from living life to the fullest okay so if you didn't wear that outfit because you felt they was gonna say something wear that outfit if you didn't want to drive that if you didn't want to get in that car or have that car because they said this or they was gonna look at you this way get it drive it do what you want to do and stop uh worrying about what other people have to say about your decisions that you make in life you know maybe you have like a strict parent or strict family members who like lived a certain way and like you just didn't speak out you didn't live this way or you just held you hid certain sides of yourself to blend in with this family but you are meant to stand out i'm hearing like you are not of your family you are one of a kind even though they are blood but it's like your souls are not the same you understand we all have roles in certain things in life and it's like if you don't do it who's gonna do it you know if you don't speak who's gonna speak for you like nobody can speak for you so you just gotta speak up um, give yourself permission to say yes. The moment you do, a whole new world will open up. You will be able to step forward in a blaze of glory, okay? So I have this incantation that I want you guys to say or just feel it in the spirit as I speak it. Restrictions lifted. I am free to live the life that's meant for me. Boldly, I now seize each day as opportunity comes my way. Uh, a situation calls for you to speak out. Release your fears by doing a fire walk. Connect with the element of fire. Become a fire keeper. You can do this literally by meditating with candles, praying by candlelight, or more figuratively, by seeking out and enjoying the things that really make you feel alive. Give yourself permission to enjoy yourself. Seize the day. Don't think, just do. Be spontaneous. So uh you can literally say this as an affirmation you can say it multiple times to rewire your mind or you can comment down below to set it in stone i live a spontaneous life i live a spontaneous life i live a spontaneous life i speak my truth in every situation I speak my truth in every situation. I speak my truth in every situation. I no longer am holding back. I am no longer holding back. I am no longer holding back. Okay, period. We're not holding back. We're speaking out. We're speaking proud. They're going to be looking at you like, what? What did she say? What did he say? Okay, okay. They're going to have to back up because you speaking up it's like sometimes when you weren't able to maybe you didn't have a voice as a child like you didn't have they didn't allow you to voice how you felt and you were just held down and you were just told that what you were saying was, like you know when certain parents say you're being disrespectful because you're speaking up and speaking out no it's time for you to speak up and speak out so yeah and show them show them what you made of okay not an ego but just out of confidence and knowing that god has given you that power to speak like that so yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.